we got Hector over there, and he's gonna say a little something. And I'm gonna speak a little something. You know, try to get these followers and these kids back. That's what it's all about. It ain't thing, you know. You know, I'm just here to like give you a message that you know you don't have to uh you don't have to take one lane and stick with that lane and just think you stuck at the your parents or your guardians or whoever take care you may not be there at that certain time in your life where you, know, you got a decision to jump in this car and catch this jokes, sell these drugs, whatever the case may be. Pay attention to like people sitting on crates and garbage cans and stuff like that. You know, no hair cut, same clothes every day. And you know what that stems from? That stems from not having somebody in their life letting them know back when they were your age. Look, you don't have to go that route. Right. Get your education. You understand what I'm saying? Play basketball, get into sports, do stuff that's gonna be productive, that's gonna be healthy for you. Not something that's gonna leave you sitting in front of a store asking for change. 16 and I was supposed to graduate in 98. I ain't get my GED until last year. Last year, man. For real. You're, you're living with iron because you're stepping out while they gone. They know they're teaching you right from wrong. You know what I'm saying? But this is when you gotta start learning. This is why right now I'm talking to you now because I know it's a lot of that going on. Because they gotta put their house on your back. They gotta put these little $40 leather jackets on your back. They gotta make sure PSC and G pay for you. So you can be warm. They gotta make sure this family first car is taken care of where it's dope. He ain't gotta be worried about hustling. This clip for this dude, for this nigga. Or he ain't gotta be going to find somebody a gun to rob. Your parents, the ones that is, anybody that's there for you now, respect them, believe me. If you're not putting up no financial stability for yourself, respect them whether they're taking care of you. Respect them. If you ain't got a love, but respect them. Because I ain't respect mom, B. I'm sitting here telling you for real, man. I ain't respect mom. I ain't respect my family. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I'm not going back to Deion saying this. Stiffy Levi, all that back when I was going to Madison and all going. I got all that. My mother gave me everything I wanted, but I still took it upon myself to go out, shoot me the rock, and do shit. You gotta pay attention to what you're doing, man. You gotta pay attention because you don't, man. You, right. you, you gonna wind up. You gonna wind up, man. Seriously, you gonna wind up behind the G wall, hurt, man. And you ain't gonna be hurt nobody but yourself at the end of the day. Because when you get out, it's gonna be way. They talk about these re-entry programs and all that when you come out. But dig, man, these re-entry programs, you gotta have, you gotta talk, you gotta know somebody to know somebody to know somebody better. You, got, you can't know success unless you go failure. You know what I'm saying? You can't reach success unless you reach failure first. You gotta fail. To succeed, you gotta burn your hand back in the day to understand, to stop touching that stove. Cause you can burn it. Some of us are so rebellious. Some of us are so G'd up. We can burn our hand and be like, oh, and keep touching. <laughs> so what? But some of us are just like that. You know what I'm saying? And there's help for that. You know what I mean? They, they got help for that. But at the end of the day, like I said, what we're trying to do here is get your decision making grounded now. Now, you need your decision making grounded now so you won't have to be going and be on eggshells at an interview. Right. And for that, man, because that's something that it, it, it really hurts. When you lose a real live friend, I'm talking about somebody that you was chewing on sunflower seeds with, B. And it's like, damn, I ain't even got him here no more, man, and all that. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to go that route, man. So if you got your man next to you, let him know if you see him slipping, man. If you see him slipping, hit him. Hit him on the head. And say, yo, man, don't do it. I'm here with you. And yo, my name's Smoke, man. Y'all fellas be easy. My time up. Y'all yeah, can get your friend's feet this show. Somebody that was participating in the street, like he said, 15 years old. Now he's 30. 15 years just evacuated. Right before his eyes, just disappeared. Now I got another young brother. I'd like to hear y'all speak. Um, Hector, come on up here. Hector. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is 
protect that spot. Uh, I coach the next up who stopped shooting basketball. Too. And Cooley, aka Sidney, he asked me to uh, speak about, you know, I guess the lack of handles that I have to come see the kids play. Uh, it's really important that we as parents, and especially men, support our children. I have about 50, 60 kids in my program. They come to practice every day. Monday through Friday, 436 days. They win everything they're in. But we really have almost no parents to come see the kids play. I raised one for the team by myself. I coach every age group by myself. I brought all these kids into their homes and pay for most of them to come in and eat. Not that much. I need the men to really come out and support the kids. I'll hit I'll, I'll Cooley with schedules, whatever y'all need. These kids went out to Syracuse last year, played basketball, Brooklyn, Philadelphia. We went to, I think, 11 age tournaments between April and August. And we didn't come in anything less than third place. We go everywhere, Florida. And they, and they need support. It's important. We really need support. I don't need no money from them. I don't, don't think I need a dime. It's for them. It's all for them. They buy, I sell candy. Mom, you know, every day. Candy and juice at JFK. All day long. I mean, from 7 in the morning to 10. Please, come out and support your kids. They're not mine. I don't have a kid of my own. It's like I don't have a kid. I'm 31. I don't have a kid at all. Those are mine. It takes a village, brother. It takes a whole village. Just for once. We need to support. We have to support our kids. Ain't nobody else gonna do it. They're gonna lock them up and kill them. That's right. Tell them to sit. I don't want them to go to jail. Man, I don't want them to die. Y'all really gotta come support. If we don't help them, what's out there for them? That's right. There's nothing there. That's all it takes you to come. Tell a kid he did a good job. It's not money, it's time. Time is priceless. You can't put no money up. Come, come and show a kid that you really appreciate what he did. They put on shows. We got over 60 kids. So when they talk about the news, kids doing bad. You got thousands of kids that do good, man. Yes. It's not all about somebody shooting or being in the game. You got these children that play basketball every day. They go to school every day. I gave them candy to sell. Some of these kids sell two, three boxes of candy a day because we try to get younger phones. We need 90. I can't do it by myself. And my motto for everyone here, especially I get to my kids, is no one, no one can deny hard work. Nobody on earth can deny hard work. Y'all got to make sure that y'all support each other and we support the kids. That's it. Thank you. You heard from both sides. That's why it's so important for fathers to get back in these kids' lives. We got to support them and protect them. Put them in the playground. Come watch them play ball. How you know how good your son is if you don't come watch him? You keep throwing them on the coaches and making them be a babysitter. That's all you're using them for, the babysitter. Now you got so much to do after eight hours. What you got to do after you do eight hours unless you're working 12 hour days? You own your own personal thing. That's all it is, your materialistic lifestyle. You're gonna have to give something up to gain somewhere else. Right. Thank you for coming. And our next event is May 1st. We're doing a mother and daughter thing at St. James Church. And I thank everybody for coming today. Thank you. Thank you.